Hey everyone, Colin Blackford, PFR location lead here in Atlanta. And I'm back out here at this plot that I took a video on earlier this year. Uh, it's a new one for this year where we are looking at the population uh, by root architecture and the effects that that has on ear flex and overall yield at the end of the year. So just for a recap, uh, we have four different hybrids out here. We have two that are horizontal rooted hybrids. One's a fixed ear, one's a flex ear. We have two that are vertical rooted hybrids. Again, one's a fixed ear, one's a flex ear. And they're planted at three different populations. So we have 28,000, we have 34,000, and we have 40,000. So we came out uh, mid-season, did a root dig at V4, and did a root dig at V10. And overall, the root structures followed what we have seen in other tests that we've had before. And that's basically when you push population, push it higher, those root masses decrease. So for every 1,000 plants per acre that we increase, uh, we see the root mass decrease by 2.5% or so. So we kind of figured that was going to happen. We saw it in this plot with our root digs, and I'm back out here to pull some ears, and I've got those ears over here on the truck bed, so we can take a look at the ear flex part of it. So let's take a look at these ear boards that I have in the back of the truck. So here on the left side, I have the vertical rooted hybrids. Here on the right side, I have the horizontal rooted hybrids. Now we know with the verticals, we can push higher populations because the root structure allows for it. So on the vertical root structure, it grows more or less straight down, uh, kind of like a cone below the plant. And as that cone goes deeper, it doesn't fan out as much. So as we push population, we can stack more plants per row before they become competition with each other versus the horizontal side where the roots fan out. We can't stack as many plants per row because they become competition the higher you push the population. So let's dive into each side here on the vertical side. We'll take a look first at the at these two different hybrids, and then we'll jump over here to the horizontal side. Here on the vertical board, we have 6280, which is our fixed hybrid, and 6473, which is our flex hybrid. If you look at 6280, the consistency throughout the ears are about the same when it comes to length. So they're all about the same length or so, around that 9-inch mark. There is a little bit of tip back going on, which I think has to do with the adverse growing conditions that we've seen here lately uh, throughout the grain fill process. So this is August 27th, and we've only had two tenths of an inch of rain on this farm. So I think that's playing into some of the, the tip back we see even on the fixed hybrids on this side. If we look at 6473, and we're seeing that flex as we increase population. So the ear size, ear length actually shortens up quite a bit. And we see that, that tip back uh, starting to happen too once we push that population. Let's go to the horizontal side. Over here on the horizontal board, we have 6344, which is our fixed hybrid for the horizontals, and 6216, which is our flex. So if you look at 6344, although it is the fixed hybrid for this uh, study, you definitely see that these ears are starting to shorten up as we push population. We definitely have some tip back going on. And I think, again, that goes back to the adverse growing conditions we've had lately uh, and the fact that these are horizontal rooted hybrids. They're not as stress tolerant as our verticals. So the verticals can get down through that soil profile and find that moisture down deep in the soil, whereas our horizontals are, are more reliant on those timely rains during grain fill. So over here on the 6216, we can see that tip back as we increase population. It's, out, it's throughout all three of these ears, and the, the ear length actually shortens up just a little bit. A lot of cool visuals from this plot between the root digs that we did, looking at root mass and root angle, and also this ear board that I have out here, looking at the different hybrids and the characteristics they show when we push the plant population. Again, this is a new plot for this year, so no yield data on it yet. So I'm really excited to get the combines out here just to see what kind of yield we can get off each one of these treatments that we have. So keep an eye out for that PFR book for this year later on. Make sure you grab a copy to see what we saw. And thank you guys again for tuning in.